Let's start with the ongoing probe into the massive corruption scandal gripping the nation. The independent council has a busy week ahead as it will make a decision on whether to seek an arrest warrant for Samsung's heir apparent Lee Jae-yong by Monday afternoon. It's also set to summon several other key government officials throughout the week. Kim Jong-soo has our top story. The independent council investigating the Chaesun Shi scandal said on Sunday afternoon that it would decide whether to seek an arrest warrant for Samsung Electronics vice chairman Lee Jae-yong sometime before its briefing session on Monday. Yi had appeared at the council's office for questioning on Thursday and returned home after a marathon 22-hour session. He is suspected of bribery and perjury. The bribery allegation stems from a consulting contract Samsung signed with Core Sports, a company based in Germany owned by Choi Sun Shi, the woman at the heart of the scandal. That contract was worth around 18 million U.S. dollars. It's alleged that Yi provided the funds to Che in return for Che using her connection to the presidential office to win political support for a controversial merger between two Samsung affiliates. And Yi is suspected of perjury because his recent statements contradicted those given by other Samsung executives. On Friday, the independent council said it's considering bringing those two charges against Samsung's de facto leader. As for other suspects in the sprawling scandal, the council's spokesperson Lee Kyu-chol said on Sunday that it may summon Culture Minister Cho yun sun as well as former Presidential Chief of Staff Kim Ki-chun for questioning this week over their alleged involvement in the blacklisting of cultural figures deemed critical of the Park administration. Meanwhile, President Park Geun-hye herself is reportedly considering releasing another official statement clarifying her connection with the Chaesun Shi scandal and the accusations leveled against her sometime before the Seolal holidays starting on January 27th. Her most recent public comments on the scandal came on New Year's Day when Park spoke to a select group of reporters on January 1st. She denied all the prosecutor's allegations and argued that she has been unfairly victimized by her critics. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.